Well, Fox Carolina investigates tonight a wilderness therapy camp in western North Carolina now pushing back against claims they're not cooperating in the death investigation of a 12-year-old. The Trails Carolina is located in Transylvania County, about an hour and a half northwest of Greenville. Now, deputies found the boy dead in one of the cabins Saturday morning. The deputy said the death was unnatural, but officials are still working to determine how he died. The sheriff's office said that the camp is not cooperating with them. But in a new statement today, the camp says that they are working with authorities with staff doing interviews. The camp says they're not aware of any suspicious findings with the boy's death. And in the meantime, Fox Carolina Investigates is now uncovering new details about the camp. This isn't the first problem for the company. Our investigative reporter Grace Runk will join us now. And Grace, you found a trail of investigations, violations, and lawsuits leading right back to their camp. Well, that's right. You know, back in 2014, the Transylvania County Sheriff's Office was investigating another death. 17 year old Alec Lansing ran away from Trails Carolina. 12 days later, he was found dead of hypothermia. Documents show the camp staff waited more than five hours to report the teen missing. The camp was fined $12,000, but was able to keep operating. So here's what's happened since. Trails Carolina, a wilderness therapy camp in North Carolina, advertising an adventure therapy program for 10 to 17 year olds struggling with mental health concerns and behavioral issues. But inspections by the North Carolina Department of Health Service regulation show the facility failing to meet requirements. Inspections in 2019, 2021, and 2023 found a total of 11 deficiencies, including lacking documentation for employees, failing to create treatment plans, not properly administering or disposing of medication, and failing to teach and use alternatives to restrictive interventions. One report details the experience of an 11-year-old with generalized anxiety disorder and ADHD. Documents say the 11 year old was restrained after being violent and trying to run away. It says restrained on the ground, left with a bruise from a staff member's hand. More allegations of mistreatment in this federal lawsuit filed by a family in Richland County. It says their 14 year old daughter was sexually assaulted at the camp by another teen. The lawsuit says the two had to sleep near each other in a yurt, and the 14-year-old asked staff to move her after the first incident, but they didn't. The lawsuit says the camp eventually moved her, but days later and after a second assault. Now, that case is still working its way through the courts, and Trails Carolina does deny the allegations, and they have submitted plans for correction for those violations that the state has cited since 2019. Grace Runkle, Fox Carolina News.